In this video, we're going to go over the I2C i6S programmer. We're going to go through the unboxing and we're going to go through the different parts and how to use the tool, turn it on and set it up. So we've actually already unboxed the device, but this is the box that it comes in. Fairly straightforward. And just so you can see here, it does have some nice slots that you'll see that your boards come in. And they kind of sit like that. The programmer itself will sit on top and then you'll also get this nice little cable, lightning to USB, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And it'll sit like that. This would be a great way to store the device when not in use. So opening up the device, you'll see that you'll there's a USB port up here. And as I mentioned before, you get this short USB to lightning cable. And this is to be able to connect your phone to the programmer directly without having to plug the phone into a computer. This is really great for getting True Tone data without having the original screen. So this is really nice. You can use any cord you want, but it's nice that they include this so you don't have a big cord mucking up your workbench. Down below here, you can power it on with a USB-C charger. It will need a five, it will only use a five volt, uh, 2.4 uh, uh, amp adapter and data cable. Um, otherwise, it could damage the device. So it won't work with a, like a fast charger, like a 20 watt fast charger. So don't use a, don't use a fast charger. Just use your standard five volt adapter and cable. You can also put an iPhone 7 battery in the back here. Uh, just take out these four screws. You may have some rubber grommets on yours. So you just take those rubber grommets out and unscrew this back plate. And then you can put in a iPhone 7 battery so that you can use this without having to plug it in all the time. So this can run on battery. So to power it on, you're just going to press and hold the OK button. You're going to see that blink once, and then it'll power on. And then you can just release once you see the loading bar. So again, a few of the main features of this programmer is that it has the 7 to 11 Pro Max True Tone Repair option. It has the 6 to 14 Pro Max battery repair board. It has the 8 through 12 Pro Max earpiece flex detection board. And it has the 10 through 14 Pro Max dot matrix activation read write integrated board for face ID repairs up to the 14 Pro Max. Now it will only go up to the 13 and 13 mini for True Tone repair, and the same with the 14 series. All right, I think we'll go through and we'll go through the, the setup here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in kind of tight here so you can see the screen. So you have a couple different options for your navigation. And if you look up here, you'll see the screen isn't very bright unfortunately. But if you look up here, you'll see that you have a shift OK and shift. This basically means that as you go back and forth, it that's what it's going to do. It's going to shift. It's going to go left, right. And then your OK is, is just that. It's your select button. So if I wanted to go into this icon, I would hit OK. And it would actually give me more options. If I wanted to go back, I would just press and hold the OK button and it will actually go back. So if I wanted to go into this LCM and then I press and hold OK, 
it will go back. So a long press of the OK button will is like your back button. And then you have your left and your right toggle buttons here that will help you navigate. So the first thing that you want to do after turning it on is to navigate to the settings. And then you're going to go ahead and select your language and you're just going to go ahead and select English. So I'll show you what that looks like when you first turn it on and yeah, we're just going to go back. All right. So as you can see, when you first turn it on, you're probably going to be in this Chinese. And so to get out of that, you're going to use your toggle here down at the bottom. And you're going to go to the settings icon here and you're going to hit OK. And then up at the top, you'll see the blue dot. That means it's selected. You're just going to hit OK. And then you're going to use the toggle button to bring that check mark down to English and you're going to hit OK. And that will put you back into English mode so that you can understand what exactly you're looking at. The next step will be to go into the Wi-Fi settings and you're going to press OK. And this can be a bit of a challenge. Once you find that your uh, network has populated here, especially if you're in a populated area, this might take a while. Find your, your Wi-Fi and then go ahead and select it and then put in your Wi-Fi data and that will connect this device to Wi-Fi. Once it's connected to Wi-Fi, then you can come down to this upgrade option and you can press OK and you can see your current version versus the current version. Um, and if that matches, there might need to be an update. And if there's an update, you'll see here it says update, exit, and then you've got this in here. So if I clicked update, I might not do it just because I am probably I'm most likely on the most current version. Yep, that's not going to do it. So I am on the most current version, so it's not going to upgrade it. But that's where you would go to upgrade your device. And there's a couple different settings in here, but for the most part, those are the main ones that you have to be focused on. So going out from there and understanding your toggles, we're going to go ahead and zoom out and then we'll go over the different boards. All right, so these two boards will be your True Tone boards. These will basically allow you to transfer the True Tone data. And this is a 7 to 11 Pro Max, and this is the 12 to 13, 13 Mini. And to install a board, it's pretty simple. On the back of each of these is a little kind of a clip here. And you just push on here to get that clipped in. making sure we're not putting it upside down. So the top of it will line up here and you'll see to just that there, most of these are labeled here at the top. So we'll just push that in and it goes in pretty smoothly. And then you basically connect your display to the board, your old display, you're going to read the data, then you're going to disconnect the old display, put the new display on, and write the data to the new display. And we will do a video showing you how to do the true tone transfer on, on this board. But that's the gist of it. So this same thing with these both boards. And they can be a little snug or tough to get out so it it's okay if you're kind of hard with it. Next, we have our earpiece flex 
cable detection board. This will essentially allow you to read and write data of the ambient light earpiece speaker uh, board. So that's the purpose of that board. Then you have your battery board. This will go from the 6 all the way to the 13 Pro Max. But this will allow you to support battery health modification, cycle clearing, battery, da battery data reading, etc. Really don't necessarily need to read and write the data on the um, existing battery. Obviously, you would be using a new battery and transferring the data over to it. But that is the purpose of this board. This is a vibration board. And this will do read and write on your Taptic engine. So that's the purpose of that. And then this board is your dot projector for your proximity or your basically your front camera and uh, dot projector. Uh, this is where you would connect that. And uh, this will support up to 10 to 14 series. So this is 12 series, 13 series, 14 series. So just so you're aware, so this is like, so this is the 11, and then it has 11 Pro, 11 Max, but this is the 12, 13, and 14 series. So basically it'll do all 12s, all 13s, all 14s. And then it also will do a couple of the iPads. So uh, that's what this board will do. So that is the the introduction and the overview to the I2C programmer.